It's going to be a great, a fantastic show. It's good, she's not expecting something, just to have a surprise, no? I prefer. <laughs> casting and I put on one of the suits and it was just like, you just completely make that look cool. And I was like, oh, well that's, that's a bit of a compliment to receive. I gotta try you girl. Sexy, sexy. Talk of all of Paris. Interesting, a little bit of a riff on the 1970s, definitely sticking with the codes of Yves Saint Laurent, or now Saint Laurent Paris, as we're referring to the collection. I gotta try you, baby. A lot of black, as Mr. Saint Laurent always loved, but it's really the new cool girls uniform. There seems to be a real sexy tendency this season, no? And what I think is that there's a lot of things that a lot of girls would love to wear tomorrow. Like Kate Moss said, oh my God, this is so me, I want it all. I think there's tons of great merchandise in there and I actually think it'll sell really well. The young girls in my office really responded to it. They thought it was sexy and cool and a, a total look. A very fitted jacket, often over a little fitted tuxedo pant or a leather jean but feminized with a great little jabot front blouse and a ruffle around the cuff of a sleeve, which is something you wouldn't always expect from Hetty because he loves a very immense for inspiration, but a lot of femininity into this collection. You got to have that cool, cool girl clothes skinny pants and sexy dresses. He's, he's an amazing talent and I can't wait to see what he does next. Maxi skirts all over the runway with a lot of people showing shorter hemlines this season. He went straight to the floor in suede, often referencing the idea of safari, even in almost direct safari piece that laced up the front that what? was made so famous in so many ad campaigns from Yves Saint Laurent. I think it was um, marvelous, fantastic, yes. completely in the Maison style and so it's really respected the uh, Celeron, so it's perfect. I gotta try you good. I gotta try you baby. Big fedora hats that had a floppy brim that were a real nod to the 70s. High stiletto heels, either a pump or a T-strap. They gave a real certain kind of edge to this girl. Girls like this are so sexy. I like it. No, really, it's fantastic. I think it was a big F U to fashion. I think it was him wanting to do something that girls actually really want to wear. It's not 
about pushing maximism or minimalism or new proportions or new this, new that. It was about delivering clothes that girls want to attract guys with, basically. Girls having a good time at gigs, girls going, you know, to parties and looking, feeling really, you know, sensual. I think that's what it was about. I like it. It's real Saint Laurent. It's exactly what we were expecting years ago. You can say, well, it was not pa bam, but it was good. You know, it was it was good enough for me today, and perfectly in the time, perfectly correspond to the period. wasn't as reinterpretive as I might have imagined. A clear statement of intent that he's respectful of the roots of the house and design statements that Saint Laurent himself made and building on that, let's see where it goes. I think it's marvelous. Uh, he's a genius. I think it was a great, great show for Hedy. I was very, very happy for him, and um, I think it was great. Really wonderful show for Saint Laurent and wonderful show for Hedy. And I'm so happy he's back to fashion. I like it very much and uh, suddenly we have Salon. After so many, so many years, it was so difficult and now Salon is back <laughs> and I'm very, very happy.